Tonight, hundreds of pieces of military equipment from Europe arrives at the Port of Beaumont. It's destined for Fort Riley, Kansas. Tonight, we're showing you the massive operation that's still in progress. 12 News reporter Jordan James is live with an inside look. Eric, an operation like this takes about 200 people to execute, and officials around here are excited about this day. There are several different staging areas across the port. From the unloading to the washing. Roughly 2,500 pieces of military equipment from Europe are being transported through the port of Beaumont to Fort Riley in Kansas. It very much is a community um, effort here. Um, it, it's a great way to see how um, the Sabine Nature's Waterway is a, is a key player in strategic force projection. Lieutenant Colonel Gordon Vincent from the 842nd Transportation Battalion says crews will be unloading hundreds of pieces of equipment for the next several months. They'll be taken to Kansas by train or commercial truck. He says, don't worry if you see all the military equipment passing through town. This is it's a routine operation that quite honestly happens here regularly. Um, this is a, this is just a, a concentrated amount in a short amount of time. This will be the busiest November that that we've experienced. Porter Beaumont Director of Operation Kirby Dartez says they have spent the past three months planning for this operation. It takes a lot of coordination with the vessels, with the agents that represent the ships, as well as the stevedoring companies that are unloading the ship. This is the first of four ships carrying military equipment that will be coming to Beaumont. A lot to be proud of down here um, from a community and, and the strategic reach and impact that um, the ports have on this waterway and how it really directly contributes to national defense. The equipment has to be processed and then it will leave Beaumont and go to Kansas. It'll take about three weeks to reach there via railroads and highways. Reporting here in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.